But let's go back to the behaviours. I love okay. the way that you've divided it into, are they maintaining normal behaviours? That's a good thing. Have they lost normal behaviours? That's a bad thing. Or have they developed new behaviours? Uh oh, could that be a bad thing? And that three division is so good to be able to talk to your owners. And it's a bit like the cam factor that we have in that being able to talk to owners or being able to reason in your head is so important because a lot of owners are very inhibited about going to their vet for fear that it's something about nothing. And I have that all the time where owners come in and go, oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Oh, I really don't want to bother you. I'm sure I'm just seeing things. And what you've done is very simplified it of are normal behaviours maintained? Have we lost normal behaviours? Do they not greet us at the door anymore? Do they not get on the sofa and join us? Do they not want to come and interact? Have they, have they lost that little sparkle and the bond that you have? Or have they developed new behaviours such as rubbing themselves on the sofa like because they've got a sore spot or have they hesitate before they get into the car have they become a bit antisocial with other dogs or family members that three division fantastic 